This is Eugene Panikovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery and the keyboard assembly on a Lenovo N23 Chromebook. All right, uh, before we start, we're going to go over some of the tools we need. We need a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end. That's to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. A thicker spudger to pry things open. A PH1 screwdriver to remove screws. And a smaller PH0 screwdriver to remove screws. Okay, so for this one over, first you want to turn off the Chromebook. Every time you open and close it, it turns on. So just long press the power button to turn off, close the Chromebook and flip it over. To make sure we're working on the right laptop, we have to look at the model number. This one is the N23 Chromebook. The procedure and the parts for the N21 and N22 are different. And this procedure will also work for the touch version. This particular version is the not touch version. So the first thing we want to do is remove all screws from the bottom. There's a total of eight screws, three in this row, one in the middle, and four on the bottom. So I already uh, removed I already removed the, all these screws to save time. When I was removing these screws with the PH1 screwdriver, I did get two stripped screws in the corner, so I don't know if it's something about this particular model or I was not having a good morning. But if you look at the video just before this video, I show you how to remove stripped screws. Okay, so once we remove the screws, we're going to open the laptop again, make sure to turn off, and then we're going to remove the screen, I mean the keyboard assembly. And the way we do this is we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to get in the seam between the bottom case and the keyboard and start start opening out, snapping it open. So just go around the whole keyboard assembly in this fashion and just uh, snap open the keyboard assembly and take your time on this. This is the most time consuming part and it can be frustrating because you have to go around the keyboard a couple of times to get to it. So I've already opened it once before. It's a little bit easier for me this time if you're opening up the laptop for the first time it's going to be a little bit harder for you so but once you get a couple of these under your belt it shouldn't be as hard and the other thing I noticed about this laptop this one is a little bit more difficult than other models to get the keyboard assembly off so I don't know if it's just this particular unit or all the models, all the N23 models have this same issue. So we work around the back and do the same thing. Just open it up. And same thing on the other side. There's a little handle, so if that helps, you can pull that handle out a little bit. And almost there. So I'm just trying to get a good angle to see under the handle there's also a seam and you pry it open there. Okay, so when you pop, snap open everything, just try gently lifting up the keyboard. It's going to be a little bit harder than most cases, but if you manipulate it, it comes up. And as long as the screws are removed, don't worry, you'll eventually get it. Make sure to remove eight screws. Okay, on the bottom, once you lift up the keyboard assembly, you lift it up from the screen side like this, and on the bottom there's two connector cables. We gotta lift the plastic bars on the bigger keyboard cable and the smaller uh, trackpad cable. So we can do it one of several ways. Just use your uh, fingernail to lift it up, or you can reach in with a hobby knife and just lift it up like this and do the same thing on the other one. And when you do that, you just the cables come out. Okay, when putting the Chromebook back together,
put this cable in first and put the bar down first because this one's a little bit tricky. You have to kind of push it into the opening and when you put the bar down make sure that the end of the plastic bar, the white bar, lines up with this black line on the connector. That's the way you know it's properly connected and the mouse pad, touch pad, will work properly. Okay, this is the keyboard assembly. Uh, we will have this unit in stock at the end of 2017. So this is called the Lenovo N23 keyboard assembly. So I'll put this on the side. Next thing that's common we replace for this unit is the battery. And we're gonna take the battery out next. For this, it's relatively simple. You just have to remove two screws here and here and undo the connector. So first I'm gonna pull back the connector and I use my fingernails just to disengage the connector from the motherboard. And then we just use, remove these two screws. Uh, make sure you start with a little bit of force on the screwdriver so you don't strip the screws like I did this morning. In one and two. In this way, we removed the battery and the laptop flips forward. Okay, so this is a Lenovo N23 battery. The part number for this unit is L15M3PB1. And also we'll have this battery in stock at the end of 2017. If you need these parts before that time, please contact us and we'll see if we can get it sooner for you. So, um, once again, the name of this website is www.screensurgeons.com. Most likely, if you're watching this video, you'll be a parent or working for a school district. So, we do work with school districts a lot, and we do take purchase orders and have volume discounts. There's a tab at the top of our website. It says School. And when you click on Schools, there will be a form for you to fill out and just request the parts that you need from us. Okay, so once again, we showed you how to take out the keyboard and the battery. And uh, to put the two back in, just simply reverse the procedure and make sure all the connections are connected properly. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.